Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here in Santa Barbara, California in this perfect outdoor setting for that vehicle that's done so much for the Subaru brand. What is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is your totally redesigned 2025 Subaru Forester. This particular one is the top dog. This is the Turing trim. But before we get into this new crossover SUV, style, technology, and of course safety, let's talk about what's going on here. Subaru, that brand that really made a name for itself on the rally stages across the globe has really come into its own with this craze on crossover SUVs. Of course, their smallest one, the Crosstrek, has received the new changes for this model year. And then now for 2025, it is the Forester's turn. Now, when it comes to the Forester, it's really been a bread and butter type of situation for Subaru with the amount of sales that they've had this with this vehicle, so much so that sometimes they have a hard time keeping up on that demand. So very interesting to see how they're gonna follow up on the success of something that is already booming. Now, in the compact crossover SUV segment, there's a lot of big heavy hitters. You got the RAV4, you got the CRV, you got the Sportage, you got the Tucson, you got the CX-5, the CX-50. Well, guess what? Subaru says that they've made the changes to make it the top of the heap. So let's go ahead, let's find out, is this better than the competition when it comes to that top trim? We're gonna focus on the top trim of the Forester. Let's go ahead, let's dive into the Turing trim and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This is an all new color for 2025 called River Rock. And I'm telling you right now, if you gave me some money and told me to buy a Forester, this is the color I would want. Now at the front of the business, we have new style. And what's great is, is that each of the designs is a cohesive setup. So at the front, we have all new, not only front fascia, headlight housing, daytime running lamps, all LED. And what you're gonna notice is, is just how everything has a nice flow. As it wraps around the front fascia into that fender area, everything has a nice cohesive flow to it. Now, when it comes to the different trims, and like I said, Turing being the top trim, each one is gonna have its own special personality rather than just be a limit on options. So we also here at Santa Barbara did the sport trim. If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave that link at the end of this video for that one. But you'll see on the Turing trim, you have your full LED fog lamps. I love the way they didn't do like a square or a rectangle. The way they did this triangular style matches the design cues around the vehicle. One way to identify that this is a Turing trim is you're gonna have the gloss black around the lower corners and this nice texturized lower bumper area. Better than a fake vent, but it still gives you that nice element of design. Now, as we come across the front grille, I think this is really the biggest telling point of the new Forester. You'll notice on the limited trim, how you have that body color that comes into the top middle area. We got a forward facing camera, and I'll show you that we have other cameras on this vehicle as well, but you got your forward facing camera, fully functional up top, nice and bold in the middle, and then working your way down, it's almost like a big, huge Sunday scoop, a scooper, because this is gonna allow you to have nice, cool air for that flat four engine. And the way that they went flat black, I think is smart because this is gonna take a better beating over time. Now, as we rise up, hood. I'm glad that they didn't go like an origami style with a bunch of crazy folds. Some of the competition, they're into all these weird geometric shapes. I like the clean but bold style that Subaru's bringing to the Forester. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working? Wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna notice we're gonna have the largest wheel that you can get. And if you're asking, well, Joe, what's the size of the wheels? 17, 18, and 19 inch. On this turning, of course, you're getting the 19 inch. Machine aluminum, I like the metallic gunmetal gray finish. And these are all new for 2025. Of course, suspension has been reworked. The chassis has been strengthened. And the way that they did that was with extra structural adhesive and also with spot welds. 
And then of course, it's finding the balance of use with the design. You'll see we have flat black around the fender opening, and you'll notice the arrow that's been built into the back portion. Now, as Steven drops away, I love the dimensions of the new Forester. When you notice, and we're gonna have Steven kind of swing around this side, you'll notice the flat black. This little part right here is interesting because I'm gonna show you when we get to the back how this little piece here plays a big role in the style. It's one of those things that a lot of the competition does this two-tone, and that's fine, but I like the color so much that I'm glad that they covered most of the body with it. Metallic gloss black on the mirror caps. You got your LED turn signals, and you'll notice down below, 360-degree cameras. It is now dawning on me, especially with where the sun is, look at the way they did a great indentation in the side fender here. It really gives it a nice muscular look, but like I said, I don't think it's going to make traditional Subaru Forester owners shy away. But I think that that little touch right there, really, my eyes just gravitate towards it. All different trims are gonna get roof rails. And if you're saying, well, Joe, I like to have raised roof rails, there are other trims that will have that. And one of my favorite parts about the Forester is that when you open up the rear door, they have a nice, and I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around and just show you this landing pad where you could have some real estate for your feet. And what's great is, is that as we come up, you gotta tie down your kayak, you gotta tie down things in your cargo carrier, very easy to get up and down, and also love how far the doors open. That's another thing for your passengers, your dogs, your cats, whatever, you know, if you got an iguana, very easy to get in and out, especially with the height of the opening. I think that's something that we forget. You look at certain vehicles, it gets a little tight. You kind of have to, you know, con twist and contort yourself to get into the back seat. With the Forester, that's not going to be a problem. That overall greenhouse, that's another thing that Subaru is very proud of their work with the greenhouse of the side glass, front and rear glass. It's about allowing great visibility, but also bringing in that style. And I think they really hit the nail on the head. As we come around the back, remember how I told you about that thing, flat black up front? Look at how we have the flat black here, and this is where they put now the symmetrical all-wheel drive badge. Full-time all-wheel drive, and that is something that you can depend on that's gonna keep you safe, and it still gives you great fuel economy. They've been able to do the work to still get the great fuel economy. Nice long roof spoiler. You got a color match shark fin antenna up top. Redesigned rear lift gate with all new glass. And then you'll see how they did, just like up front with the front headlight housing, the rear tail light, how it curves around and intercepts nicely into that rear quarter panel. Turing trim, tasteful badge, nothing too gaudy. And then I think one of the things that helps with not making that too gaudy is you'll notice they just stamped the word Forrester, the name Forrester right into the back. You have your Subaru badge, that kind of makes sense since this is a Subaru. And then as we drop our way down, flat black on that lower bumper area, you have a nice exhaust finisher, nice and high out of the way. You got your 8.7 inches of ground clearance, but guess what? This is only half the story. Let's get inside the top turning trim and see just how different it is. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 Subaru Forester top Turing trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm about to pull the trigger on a Sportage. I'm about to pull the trigger on a RAV4. Should I do it? Before you do, let me show you the rest of this Forester, especially the Turing trim. Now, there's no official pricing yet, but expect Subaru to be very competitive with what they bring to the table. But until I can bring you pricing, Let's see what luxury touches the Turing trim as to the door panels. I love what they've done. That brown, that Milky Way chocolate brown with the white stitching, the Alcantara material gives the Forester an all new personality. No gloss black around the switch gear, but there is some gloss black around the door handle. I wish they wouldn't have done that, so I am gonna zonk that. But the good news is like they said, the switch gear is fine. Door pockets on the tighter side. So one in and out burger, a small fry, and a strawberry milkshake. And of course you have the Harman Kardon sound system. Now going from the door panel to the dash, 
Look at the way that they did the design of the AC vent. It's like it's almost integrated into the dash and separate from this main part. That textured material, just like out, out front and out back, you have it here inside with the stitching. Nice bronze finish in here. And then as you come on in, 11.6 inch, of course, portrait style infotainment system. You got your maps. They've quickened up the response time. You still have your AC controls in the screen, but the good news is I could adjust the blower fan very easily. And if you need to do temperature, like Steven always likes it warm. He's like an old lady. Uh, you could easily do that with the dual climate. Plus, you don't have to go in the menus anymore to, to do the auto start stop. You could do it right here. Hit this guy here. There's all your controls with your X mode, all the different driving assistance. They've upgraded the eyesight technology. You still got your separate screen up top. Very intuitive. And like I said, very quick reacting. All new for 2025, 360 degree camera. Look at that. I wish we could see Steven there. Right now he's wearing his favorite hat. It's a big, huge sombrero. And then of course, throwing it into reverse. Very, very nice with the trajectory. Looking good. Put it back in the park. Hit okay. We're okay with that. And then we're right back to home. Look at that. You got aux jack, USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging. Love the chocolate brown with the white stitching. And then this, of course, is gonna control your CVT transmission. Underneath the hood, you still have that 2.5 liter flat four that produces a little over 180 horsepower. That hasn't changed, and I wish they would have done a little bit more horsepower, so that is a zonk, but you got your two cup holders, your button for your 360 degree camera, 12 volt, and then of course you got a place for the Slim Jims that you get from the convenience store. Soft touch material, stitch work, Lift it up, you got enough room in here for four large pickles in a bag. You know how you go to those weird convenience stores? They have the pickles in a bag with all the pickle juice. Keep those in there when you're camping. If you get dehydrated, drink the pickle juice. It'll save your life. The seats, love the style. They actually trimmed up the corners to give you better visibility. And you have the Alcantara, the stitching power assist for the passenger, power assist for the driver. They even redesign the contour of the seat to let you sit more in it than on it like the older Forester. Nice panoramic sunroof. And then of course, we now have a digital rear view mirror with that detail and the eyesight, which they've slim. I remember when the eyesight used to like come down here and it used to block where you're going. Now they've really trimmed it up and got it out of the way. This one, because it's not mounted on the bumpers, is better reacting and won't have all those error codes when you get mud on the windshield because you could just clean it off. But why don't you go ahead, come over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of the new Forester Touring Trim. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. The great news is you have two memory seat settings. So if you don't have a friend, the Subaru Forester will help you find a friend and they can borrow your Forester and they will have their own separate setting for the seat so that they don't screw up yours. Easy to get to the seat controls, especially the lower lumbar. And like I pointed out on the sport trim, seats are now bolted to the frame, not to a seat rail, which is great. That's gonna cut down on vibration and give you a more solid feel. The actual seats feel phenomenal. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room. And then of course you have your steering wheel with the bronze copper stitching. Love that with the black, little bit of gloss black, flat black on the switch gear. It is a heated steering wheel and you do have paddles to go up and down those simulated gears, and then you have the dash. I prefer analog gauges, so I like the analog tack, speedometer, coolant, and fuel gauge. You do have that digital color display in the center, which does have SI drive, your lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, all the great technology. Plus, new for 2025 is you have that hands-free operation for the rear lift gate. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be happy you went Forrester Touring Trim. All right guys, back seat time. And what's great is, is that the people up front get to be spoiled, but the people in the back seat get to be spoiled as well. Now remember, on the Touring Trim, we now have ventilated seats for the people up front. In the back, you got the room, you got the storage areas. You could put, obviously, a couple magazines, maybe a nice road trip version of Battleship. The one game I would not play with your family or friends is Monopoly. That is the game that breaks up families and makes friends become enemies. But the fact that they give you storage pockets on both sides 
It seems like something simple, but there's a lot of brands that are not doing that anymore. Little command center with your AC vents. You got a USB-C, USB-A, and we have the heated seats in the back. Lots of leg room, lots of shoulder room. And then what's nice is, is that with having the trim seats, it also makes it feel a little bit more spacious back here. Gives you that perspective. Pull down the armrest. Love the softness. And you'll notice how they give you the silver trim with the gloss black for the cup holders. And I'm glad that they brought the Alcantara and all the materials just like up front to the back seats. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that cargo area and see how much we could haul in this Subaru. All right, guys, tail end of the business, obviously very important for any crossover SUV, no matter how big or how small. On the Turing trim, new for 2025, you do have that hands-free operation. If you have the key fob on you, I don't have the key fob, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, but the great news is it's simple. Hit the button. I like how fast it opens because think about it. Say you're a dog sitter and you got your 15 dogs and they're all going crazy. You don't want this to open up like some drawbridge from an old castle. It's nice to have it fast because guess what? The dogs wanna get in and they wanna go home. You had your fun at the park, they wanna go home and you have plenty of space. Over 70 cubic feet of room, I love how low the cargo floor is, the lift over, and what I'm gonna show you in this review that I didn't show you on the Sport is putting down the seats. Now you'll notice back here, you do have a 12 volt, so you could get yourself an electric air compressor if you take the kids to the beach and they want that raft blown up, you could save your oxygen for yourself so that you're alive, and you could use an electric air compressor to blow up the raft with the 12 volt there. But what's nice is, is that you have the switches to fold down the seats. Look at that. It's like zero to 60 in fold sitting in two seconds. One, two, three, boom, 60, 40 split. Look at how nice and flat that is. You could go to Costco, you could get the ginormous barrels of mayonnaise and ketchup for your next picnic. And you have plenty of room so that guess what? If you wanna adopt a few more dogs, you have the room. Now I know what you're gonna say. Joe, lots of technology, lots of great new design. Are you gonna drive it now? No, that is not yet, but stay tuned. We will be doing the first drive with this Subaru Forester. But what I wanna know is, what do you think about it? Subaru is gonna read the comment section, I promise you. They know that people come to Radius Rides to research, they wanna find out how you feel about this. So do you think this is the best new compact crossover SUV, especially this Turing trim, if you want all the goodies compared to the competition, let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we need to thank everybody at Subaru USA for giving us access to this new Forester. Also, we need to thank the muscle behind the lens, Steven working that camera like a champ. Thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.